Chinese Wikipedia and who are their editors, and finally, what are our activities and the press conference during 2013. So, as you know, Java is not just that <laughs> language. It's actually the name came from Hafi, which was grown in the island. So, where is the island? It's somewhere over there. Not Java Island, of course, where I live. And those are the three things you should know about Java. What, well, there are a lot more, but you know, it's just the most populous island in the world, the most densely populated island also, and with the highest concentration of active volcanoes. You can see all those uh, red and yellow spots. Also, it has a lot of languages, living languages, local language which are thriving and have a lot of speakers. One of them is Japanese language. These are, this is the speaker distribution of the language. As you can see, mainly is on the country itself. But we also have a substantial number of speakers on South Africa, so, sorry, South America, and several uh, Pacific Islands. It has, uh, believe it or not, 80 million plus speakers in the world, which, uh, according to Wikipedia, is the 10 or 11th or the 12th largest uh, language in the world. Uh, so that makes Japanese speakers one of the most uh, spoken language in the world, even though the Distribution is not as widely as other large languages yet. So, as you, as I said before, there are ten languages, and uh, we are focusing primarily on the middle part of the island, where the largest ethnic, just Japanese people, live there. So, what should you know about Japanese? It's a large number of speakers. It has first encyclopedia in 9th century. And one of the modern encyclopedia that's still around right now is the 9th, from the 19th century. Due to the history of Indonesia and the Netherlands occupation uh, during the 17th until 20th century, the language itself is gradually uh, also evolving. Where now mainly it is written in Latin, also thanks to the Indonesian language influence during this modern era, 21st century, and so on, where uh, Latin script is the only script widely used in the country. But uh, historically, it has its own script called Charakan. So it's, this is how it evolves pretty much from old Japanese, middle, new, and now modern Japanese. Now we're, I'm going to talk about the language itself. It's a unique language. Uh, I might be not anti OV, but this is a language that has a lot of um, has been influenced by many and also have gone through a lot of um, modifications. So it has three scripts at least. Uh, I, I've already told two of them. One is the Latin and one is the 
Japanese script. Yet another one which we are not going to talk about here is we, in some point of our history, also used the Arabic script to write in Japanese language. Also, we have four registers, which for you know for lay people means four sets of vocabularies. So I have we have one vocabulary to speak with our peers, one for the elders, one for between elders, and one for um, royal people, royalties. Because we still have king, apparently, even though we, without any power, real power. So there's a royal influence also in the language. Um, when we were in schools, we usually, most of us were taught, there's only 20, it's a syllabic language, so it's not alphabetic, it's not uh, ABC, but it's actually every syllable has a vocal in it. it has, we have 20 syllables. But since 2009, uh, the script has been accepted in the Unicode Consortium, and we have 91 code points. And on the, on the right hand side, we, you can see the comparison between Indic languages. The bottom two are closely related family of script, which is Japanese and Balinese. This is on the island of Bali. So we descend from the same Indic source, Sanskrit, and slowly uh, modified. So we call the, the language Aksara Jawa, which means the Japanese script. So basically there's a story behind behind the, the script. In short, there's two people, they have quarrel, they fight, they die. It, and it became the basis of the the new um, order letter ordering which is quite different from the kakana used in Indic scripts. As you can see, there are five times four, which has 20 basic syllables. And this is the Unicode table for the Japanese script, which is quite, you know, like 4.5 4 times the script we know. Some of them are not even used anymore for uh, to be used for old um, documents and so forth and then I'm going to talk to about on Japanese Wikipedia itself it's a thriving in a small Wikipedia um, it was started in two, Jan January 2003 which makes it actually the first uh, Wikipedia in our country's language. It's not the national language, which is started on May, four months after. So it's it has a head start and uh, earlier history. Now, uh, this is not what you're going to see when you open jfewikipedia.org. This is a Japanese script only uh, main page which where we are heading forward. We are hoping to have the script uh, available for our uh, Wikipedia. We have more than 800,000 edits. As you can see, there's a peak right here. Uh, that's because in 2012 and 2013, there were efforts from our chapter to revitalize the Wikipedia using writing competitions. So many people, and college students mostly, came to write in the, at that time, little known Wikipedia. They only thought Wikipedia is English, and sometimes they still amazed that there's Indonesian one. Now they are more amazed that they are actually Japanese one in their own language. 
they uh, added quite a lot of uh, articles, as you can see on the spike. So, uh, who are the editors? They, as you can see from the photos, mostly young people. Uh, there are a lot of females editors there, which is good. And they, they have uh, admins from uh, Indonesia to Netherlands. One of them actually from Netherlands. I actually as um, I, I'm a grantee of the Wikimedia uh, individual engagement grant which uh, my my purpose was to just tell the people that uh, Wikipedia uh, media wiki software supports writing in the Japanese script which is actually uh, one of its kind and a breakthrough so to speak because before we were able to have the script enter uh, I've, I've talked to several people I've told them that um, the, 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 the language and the script is in a dire um, state when I walk into a bookstore I could hardly find a single book that's written or printed in the Japanese language not to say the script almost zero the language itself is you know mm. widely spoken but it's not in literature anymore it was until like 50 years ago uh, up to our independence and around that time and then it's completely stop uh, publishing books in those in the language and in the script so by having wikipedia in the language japanese language and in the future we hope in this uh, using the japanese script we are hoping that the younger generation didn't lose that um, heritage their heritage the the script that has, as you can see, hundreds of years of history, as well as we, uh, part of the grant uh, was, uh, we want to make all the documents in the script available in Wikisource and uh, other wiki projects like Wiktionary, because we also have really good uh, dictionary almost 100 years ago and right now it, it would be hard to find one in, in bookstores uh, there's one story that I bought several Japanese script books in secondhand bookstores flea market and it was it was that hard to find a, a, a book as printed in the script so what I did was Actually, I went to the literally to the uh, road where every Sunday we would have a free uh, car free day event where people, all the citizens, all the people can just walk there in the in the in the road. And I set up a booth with a laptop and a printer, and I just tell the passerbys to type their names in Japanese script and that was a great experience they they uh, I mean the the press was there they liked it and they thought it was uh, good effort toward making the Japanese script attractive again for the young people because it wasn't even though it's still taught in school but it doesn't have any use in practical life um, some of my friends which are uh, from Japanese literature cannot even find job for uh, that matches 
on her skill. So the, the government in general does not support uh, local languages. In fact, I started a, a page in Wikipedia called the list of language, list of languages without official recognition or official status. And Japanese was up there in, in the top because it doesn't have any status, whether it's uh, in, state, in the state level, in the provincial level, or in, in the city level at all. So no, no official documents were written in that language, no, no signs were written in that language at all. Several years ago, there's a movement to use the script back in public spaces. Once uh, people, you know, starts to make the fund for the for the for that to happen, but it has to be supported by fund, which you know uh, was not available. Uh, Unicode supported fund was not available before 2009. So after 2009, when we have the the good fund we could work with, I started to uh, to work and make that fund available in the Wikipedia websites. But that that was true. I mean, only I, as far as I know, only two cities that uses it in public, and those are not even you know continue until today. Stop, kind of stop. So. Um, Next, I would like to uh, uh, recent survey to all those editors, the people who actually, when you can see a lot of pictures there, it doesn't mean that they they are long time editors. Usually, they they stay for the during the competition, writing competition, and then one by one they just start editing. So. Because we've done the competition twice, I sent a couple of them. I mean, I sent all of them who provide their emails, uh, quick survey, and to see what they think about uh, the condition state and the condition of the language and the script. And the reply that I gathered was quite. Uh, interesting because from from the Wikipedians that replied to me they usually start editing first in the Japanese Wikipedia so they before that they were not Wikipedians so they were first time editors and they actually seldom or never write in Japanese language before their own language so they use it in spoken, I mean, but it's not used in any written uh, literature or any. You, you can hardly find newspaper in the language. Uh, as far as I know, the newspaper that are uh, carrying uh, Japanese language only one page per week. So most of the newspaper were written in Indonesian language. And they also uh, think that they are, they realize that the Wikipedia, Japanese Wikipedia has very few active contributors, uh, even though, given the huge number of uh, speakers in that language. Also, they didn't know about other projects other than Wikipedia, which uh, carries a Japanese language. There's actually a wiki source and a dictionary in Japanese also. Uh, I actually um, made available about 40,000 entries in Wiktionary, Japanese dictionary based on, I think, 19th century dictionary. So now they can actually 
fine. The, the definition in the language in Greek dictionary, Japanese dictionary. Because up till now, we can only have a bilingual dictionary in Japanese because that's you know, for pra all practical purposes. Those are the, what the people need to translate from Japanese to Indonesian and vice versa. No monolingual Japanese dictionary can be found anywhere. Also, they, the contributors thought that it's hard to write in Japanese language, their own language. It's quite hard to find references because you have, then you have to go to libraries or museums or um, you know, very second, book, second bookstores to find references in Japanese language. Okay. And it's also hard to translate because uh, not many dictionaries are available. But the uh, good news is they still can work, read and write in Japanese script. So uh, our effort to uh, make available Japanese script in Wikipedia, Japanese Wikipedia was met with a uh, good, um, was welcome, was very welcome. And speaking about the Japanese Wikipedia. We are trying to make, if you are familiar with Chinese or Kazakh Wikipedia, they have auto transliteration. And we are hoping one one day in the future, when people doesn't have to input all the, the Japanese script because it's quite a work to do. And personally, I don't believe people would you know actually spend time to write twice, one in Latin, one in Script. So something automatic has to be made and auto transliteration I think is the answer for that. So we are going toward that direction uh, and using Wikimedia support I believe uh, we can be with the first website in the world that do that. And I think my time is up. Uh, is there any questions? Then? Yeah, Pak Tong. Yeah, if you just when I was doing my field work in Java in uh, the mid '90s, yes. my understanding was that Japanese was still being um, dealt with at primary school in in Java because I it kept coming across some little primary school books, but that was all in um, Latin script, right? And it was only in late primary that there was the option it appeared to be the option that they could actually learn the script. But not, fifth, the, not, from, not from the, the, the basic primary, it was right. later on. Is that correct? That's correct. Or until I think ninth grade, and that's all. After junior high, uh, basically you kind of forgot about it, is what's happened to me, until I started uh, to visit Japanese Wikipedia a couple of years ago, and I thought, hmm, why is there no Japanese script enabled you know, in here? And yet, Ten years before, when my wife was doing her field work, I'm sure I still saw street signs in Japanese script, either in Jogja or in Seoul. Mm -hmm. Do they still exist? They are. In I have it in my computer, but not in the presentation. Um, they they have a, by no, two scripts uh, named for the road. Um, but it's more for decoration purposes, right? So it's not really practical, so this, and usually they are in Indonesian language. So Indonesian language written in Japanese script. Really? Yeah, because the name of the street or the public, the are schools, I mean uh, public schools, state schools, which have the giant sign in front of the schools, right? They also written in Japanese script, but those are Indonesian language. What's more funny is a couple places like mm -hmm. malls, which carries English names, written in Japanese script. 
So there you go. It's a uh, universal script for every language. But the palaces, the palaces still have signs or notices in the script. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. But that, that would be the genuine Japanese. I talk with several several royal families, and they they don't know Japanese script anymore. The real families who are supposed to be the guardian of the culture. <laughs> they kind of... So, so you, you're in a situation okay. where you've got many very small languages in outer parts of Indonesia are, are endangered languages because they no longer have sufficient numbers actually reading and speaking in them, or maybe just speaking in them. What you've got a situation in central Java Potentially millions of people actually speak it because it's basically the mother tongue, but in actual fact, the script is technically in itself an endangered language because no one's got the number of not so many surviving people who can actually read or interpret. Um, Would you agree with that? For other languages and scripts, other than what we're talking here, I mean, the general attitude of the government, Indonesian government, is you know. Uh, you're on your own. We are not going to spend any money. Uh, actually, since this year's curriculum, school curriculum, they stop teaching local languages anywhere anymore in Indonesia. So. So that means the endangered languages are even more endangered then. That's the the paradox. Is it really endangered because there are so many people still speaking, but nobody writing anything? In language probably yes in the long term I mean if you try to find uh, what's the greatest Japanese literature in um, 21st century there will be none because nothing is written I mean, so in that sense uh, uh, the, the government should show support more support I have, I've already um, talked with some people what the government should do is actually making the like in India, I know they have many, a lot of languages, but they uh, they have official status in the state level. So at least you know the official document has to be written in that language. Uh, the people who study the language, the literature can have some job, <laughs> at least for translate, uh, translation or transliteration, and it get, I mean, uh, the regeneration of the people who can speak language languages will be you know, there. Yes. A very interesting presentation. Thank you. No, thank, uh, you. thank you. Something which really has drawn my attention to was the uh, level of activity level of female editors you mentioned, which uh -huh. is high. Uh, could you tell me a bit more about it and do you have any idea why it should be like this compared to Western languages? So again, I have to remind you that these are temporary contributors. They are not long-term ones. So this might you know, uh, be uh, something that is good to have them in the long term. But some, some people just tell me it's hard to uh, write a lot in wiki because they are they they are not first they are not used to writing the language second they the competition itself you know create some barrier for them to continue after the competition finished uh, and the female editors I actually uh, I think uh, you do you know who won the this year's competition? No. no? If I'm not mistaken, it's a female editor. And he, she wrote, you know, the best quality article among the peers, which are, I mean, in a number of, uh, more, a lot. And uh, I, I didn't do a in-depth survey on, you know, how many percentage and what's the, uh, for all number of edits, but it is actually 
one fact that I find amusing when I uh, doing this uh, presentation actually. So, but among the nine administrators, only one. So if we could, you know, use that as a me measurement on <coughs> the number of long-term editors, it's almost the same with other languages. Nine, eight to one, nine to one. Questions? Great. Oh, you're done. I noticed that in the language of the Wikipedia image, it has been transliterated. And the name of Sigma Centauri is not transliterated. My, my question is can the script be used to write in its name like that? And we also have Robert Diaz and we also have Frederick. That brought up a very um, important and uh, thing, which is since the the language, you know, the speakers really um, is not using it so much for to write. There's there's no convention. There, there's no single authority that could say how to write it correctly. So, uh, for example. Uh, should a proper name be transliterated or not? And we also didn't have X and uh, F, T, X, Z, and yeah, a couple words, a couple letters, English letters in our um, language. Q, that's why uh, I kept the, the proper names intact. Uh, pe name of the people in fact you, you might also see that there's funny uh, spacing there because one of the distinct um, feature of Japanese script is it doesn't have space like uh, Chinese if you familiar with it it also doesn't have capital letters it doesn't have uh, question marks uh, excla exclamation marks quote and all the, the uh, symbols that we, we've taken for granted, yes. So, um, one of the problem I encountered when I tried the auto transliteration is how to go back from JavaScript to Latin. That still has to be resolved. The, 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 the uh, spacing issue uh, in Chinese, we can no, there are no spaces. We can still recognize. What is it talk about? Mm -hmm. But in but for in for but for Japanese, uh, take this as an example. Yeah. Some of the uh, letters, uh, downside uh, is is is. Solo read more, and the script you read, the Japanese script is actually rendered as it sounds in Japanese because it's written as it sounds. So if I transliterate it back, it would be solo and then G R E N M A single L. <laughs> so you can use it for other languages. Fine, that's fine. All right, thank you very much. I think we're going to stop you here. Uh, let's give Kevin a round of applause. Um, um, it is now break time. There should be tea set up in Logo Square, and in 15 minutes, the closing venue will be in the top of the court. So, see you there. Yay! Take stickers and pins in here. Uh, thank you for coming. They have we have a couple of pins and stickers. Yeah.